In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can publish your video and upload it to your LMS with a quiz built in without using your authoring tool. So if you're like me, you've probably made video using Camtasia in addition to being an Adobe Captivate eLearning designer developer. I do a lot of work inside Camtasia when I need to create a video for one of my e-learning courses. I've seen a lot of chatter on the forums lately of folks who are simply bringing in a video into Adobe Captivate just to add the questions at the end and then package it as a SCORM file. Again, using Captivate and you can do the same thing with other authoring tools as well. This video today is to show you that you don't actually need your authoring tool to do that. In fact, Camtasia has this ability built right in. And then of course you can publish it as a SCORM package and upload it to your LMS directly, bypassing the whole authoring tool solution entirely. Let me show you. Okay, so I've got my video all set up. I've got some callouts here. It's just sort of a geography course about Canada here. Just a quick little recording uh, that I'm going to then import into my, my e-learning course. But there's another option. If all you're doing is creating this video and simply adding a quiz at the end, you can actually do that right inside Camtasia. Let me show you how. So I'm going to bring my playhead right to the end here, just before my fade out here. And I'm going to click on more and click on interactivity. So now we can add a quiz to the timeline at this exact point, just before the fade out of the video. If I click timeline, you'll see quiz one questions over here. And we can select the type of question that we're going to use. I'm going to replace the question stem with the question that I have. And then I can start pasting in my answers. Toronto happens to be the correct answer. Put in a few distractors. And you can also display feedback. So if correct, you can say great job. And the action would be to continue. And if incorrect, say, sorry, that's incorrect. And I can repeat this a number of times until I have all my quiz questions just by clicking on the add question link at the bottom here. So the final thing to do is to, rather than export just the video and import that into your e-learning authoring tool, you can export this with the settings appropriate for your learning management system. So I'm going to go ahead, click next. MP4 is the video format we'll choose. And you can of course choose uh, some options for what the video controller looks like. Make all the usual settings for your size of video, the frame rate, what quality percentage, anything over 75 is a waste and choose the appropriate audio encoding as well. Click Next and any video information or watermark you can add here. I'm going to report quiz results using SCORM. Under SCORM options you can put the information about what the course is about. I'll keep it simple for our purposes here today. And we'll just say you've got to get 100% to pass. So we'll produce a zip file. We'll click OK. Click Next. And we will publish this to our desktop. OK, so we're all done. We can click Finish. I'm just going to minimize Camtasia for right now. And let's test it out with something that we can test a SCORM file in. I'm going to log into my Adobe Captivate Prime account.
And in this case, I need to be set up as an author. So we'll switch to author mode here. Go to content library. And we'll add a new module here. And we'll just call this Canada quiz. I'll put that in the description as well. And we can open up the Canada quiz folder and drag the zip file. And up the Canada quiz zip file comes. In the meantime, I'll just put in 10 minutes for the duration. Canada quiz. Okay, I'll go ahead and hit save. Content is saved successfully. It's processing there. Okay, so that's uploaded now. We can move over to courses and we'll add a Canada quiz course here and the core module that makes up this course will be what we just uploaded here. We'll select that and click add. We'll go ahead and press save. Pick a skill and we'll go ahead and hit save and we'll click publish. So let's switch now to become a learner and we'll search for Canada and there's our Canada quiz. Let's go ahead and view the course. We'll enroll and here's our video. So we can learn a little bit about Canadian geography Fast forward through this if we wish. And when we get to the appropriate part of the video, we should see the option to take our quiz. So let's go ahead and click on take quiz now. And here's our questions. So which city is the largest city in Canada? That would be Toronto. Correct. Great job. Continue. Canada is the second largest country by total area. That's true. Correct. Who is the head of state of Canada? That would be the reigning monarch of the United Kingdom. Great. And what city is capital of Canada? Oh, you know, it's not Vancouver. I must have entered it incorrectly, but that's okay. I can fix that and republish. Let's go ahead and hit continue. We can see that I got three correct, one incorrect, and unfortunately that's going to not be enough to pass this course. So I'll have to upload it again and try again at getting 100%. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.